Hey guys, so the other day, woke up about 5 a.m., made myself a cup of tea, opened on my laptop, checked Google Analytics, and almost spat out my cup of tea when I realized that a website I'd just created 90 days before was ranking number one on Google. So how did I do it? Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you my exact three-step blueprint for ranking your website in 90 days or less, and it's very simple and easy to understand. Plus, it's the exact same blueprint that I use for my link building agency to get my clients insane results. And make sure you watch all the way to the end where I'll reveal the biggest hack for making sure your website ranks number one on Google within 90 days. And this is a game changer. And if you're new here, please subscribe so that you don't miss another SEO video from me that's gonna teach you how to make more money with your website. Now, this is only gonna take five minutes to explain, but if you don't build your website the right way, if you don't optimize it properly, if you don't follow the steps I'm about to show you, then you will struggle to rank anywhere near the first page of Google. I actually struggled with SEO for a long time until I created this blueprint. So if you don't have five minutes now, it's gonna cost you five years in the long run. So step one, and you're about to learn how to build a brand new website with amazing content without writing a single word and making the whole process passive. How? Well, just copy and paste other people's content. Nah, I'm just kidding. Never do that. That's the worst possible thing you could do. So for me personally, I just don't like writing. I don't know about you, but it's a grind, it's boring. It's quite a monotonous job, especially if you're writing about a topic you don't particularly enjoy. And that's why when it comes to creating a new website, you always have to outsource the content as soon as you possibly can. In fact, to be honest, when I created this website, I didn't even talk to my writers. I hired a virtual assistant to manage all of them so that the process was completely outsourced. So me being the lazy person that I am, when I'm creating a new website, I just hop on over to Upwork.com I create a bunch of job ads for writers, as you can see on the screen. And then after that, I hire a virtual assistant. And this virtual assistant can take the content that I need created, outsource it to the writers, check the quality of their work, and then publish it onto my website. And when you do this, you have a very powerful, passive process for getting tons of content to your website that's very high quality. So to be honest, it was kind of like managing a fantasy football team, right? So I had my manager who was the virtual assistant and then I had a team of rockstar MVP writers that could create awesome content on demand whenever I needed it. Now, if you want a full tutorial on how to outsource SEO content for your team, you can check out my other video, but basically the actionable steps are to go onto opwork.com, create an advert for a bunch of writers, create an advert for a virtual assistant, and make sure you focus on quality, okay? So when you're hiring writers and when you're hiring the virtual assistant, make sure that they really understand how important it is to produce great work and to make sure that your virtual assistant is kind of like a filter to get rid of the crap and have quality in place, right? So when it comes to ranking on Google these days, you can't afford to get away with the minimum. You can't have shallow content that doesn't answer the user's problem. Instead, you need to focus on quality and make sure your content is as awesome as possible. And that also means the user experience of that content too. So when your virtual assistant is taking content from the writers and then publishing it onto your website, you wanna make sure that the design looks awesome, that there's tons of images in there, that the videos add a lot of value, and that the actual format and navigation of the website as well looks as good as possible. Now, if you wanna rank number one on Google, you won't wanna miss a single second of what I'm about to say and here's why. Okay, so step number two is to build backlinks to your site and backlinks are essentially the holy grail of SEO. So when you start getting links to your site, you're gonna see huge results in terms of growing your website's traffic and rankings with SEO. So what is a link? Well, it's basically when you click from one website to another and that is kind of like a popularity vote, okay? So the more votes that you have, the higher you're gonna rank on Google and not all votes are equal, so it comes down to quality too. But essentially, if you look at when I started building links to my site versus this traffic increase, the rankings just started flying up as soon as I started building backlinks. So this website was brand new and I was just starting from a fresh slate. So basically, I had to hit up all the relevant websites in my niche, reach out to them and then ask for a backlink. And surprisingly, so many of them actually replied and gave me a link back to my site simply through cold email. So seriously, if you only get one thing from this video, it's basically this, you have to build backlinks to your site. Building a website without links is kind of like eating tiramisu without ice cream. It just ain't the same. So you really have to focus on getting those links to your site and building up the authority of your site as soon as possible. Now, if you want some tips on how to do this, subscribe to this channel because I publish loads of link building tutorials, but also make sure that you check out my link building playlist because this already has loads of tips on how to get links to your site from day one. Now, you may not know this, but actually Google has over 200 ranking factors and link building is one of the most important ones. I've actually confirmed that and it's just so powerful for your website. So what are the best link building methods that worked for me? Well, essentially I looked at Harrow, the 
skyscraper to need audio link building, video link building, and I created a huge cocktail of different link building strategies to get tons of backlinks to my site. And when you do this in combination and you outsource most of the process, like most of my link building clients outsource to me, then you will see huge results in terms of traffic, in terms of growth, in terms of boosting your rankings. And when you Google pretty much any search term, you'll see that backlinks are one of the most important ranking factors. In fact, most of the time, the top ranking website also has a ton of backlinks or more backlinks than everyone else on that page. And this is really powerful when you combine it with step number three, which I'll come on to now. So the final step was keyword research, and this can be good and bad for your website. So if you get this right, you can find an almost unlimited number of search terms that you can rank for on your website and drive a ton of customers, traffic, and sales to your website simply with the right search terms. If you get this wrong, then you're not gonna rank for anything, no one's gonna find your website, and you'll find it extremely hard to rank on Google. So how did I do this? Well, basically, I stepped in like a mad scientist and tweaked and tested and looked for loads of search terms that small sites were ranking for and that I knew I could easily beat with my team of content writing minions. You see, SEO is a little bit like sumo wrestling, but instead of eating all day, wearing a loincloth and trying to push people out of a circle, instead, you're trying to wrestle your competitors off the first page of Google. So. Let me ask you this, right? Would you want to pick on the bigger websites, aka the 500 pound gorillas, and try to wrestle them off the first page of Google when they're so established, when they're very difficult to outrank, when they have a lot of authority already? Or would you want to pick on the smaller guys, aka the small niche websites that are going to be easy to outrank, that you are pretty much guaranteed to be in a one-on-one -on -one wrestling match, and therefore you're going to rank your website higher and faster in a shorter amount of time. And that, my friends, is pretty much keyword research in a nutshell. So when I created my keyword list, it was kind of like gathering an army of troops and I knew it was gonna start raining traffic anytime soon. So how did I do this? And what were the actionable steps you can take to make sure that your keyword research is as effective as possible? Basically, just type into Google your keyword that you wanna rank for and then look at the related searches and find the long tail keywords, aka the longest strings of text that you could potentially rank for. And then look at your competition to so see who's ranking at the top already and find search terms where the people who are ranking top are smaller, lower quality websites that you know you could easily outrank with better content. It's so damn easy. And here's something that 90% of people on YouTube will not tell you about keyword research. You see, keyword research is constantly evolving and changing and the way that you do it may change in the future too. But at the same time, you always have the power of observation and you can always go onto Google and look at your competitors and just ask yourself one simple question. Can you outrank your competition? Yes or no? So whether it's 2002 or 2020, the fundamentals of keyword research are always the same. Now here's the real secret to ranking your website number one on Google in 90 days. And that's to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. No, I'm just kidding. But if you do, it will make a huge difference to me. Plus you'll learn so much more about SEO and you'll discover the link building tutorials that I'm about to publish in the next few weeks that will make a huge difference to ranking your website. So thanks very much for watching.